Former bossy standout Cardell McFarlane has had great success playing basketball. He helped lead the Bulldogs to the 2007 state finals. He competed as an overseas basketball professional too. Now his mind is set to help improve other young athletes' games. Jessica Wimsat has that story. Cardell McFarland's hoops career has taken him almost everywhere, from a spectacular high school career at Bossy to places as far as Germany and Australia in the pros. But now he's back where it all began. It's actually my the longest time I've been home in 10 years, basically. Trading in his own playing days to train the next generation of rising stars. <laughs> I just thought, of what's, what's next for me? What's next for Cardell? I just want to give back and show them and, and help them in ways I, didn't, I did when I was coming up. And I felt like I needed somebody like me coming up to show me or to push me or to just to help me out. So I mean, I'm, I'm proud of all these kids, and I, hopefully I can continue to help. Them. And the hometown hero isn't just training anyone, but some of the best young talent right here in the tri-state. Hey, right they always want to learn from somebody that who's been there, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I know everything about basketball. I'm not saying I'm the best trainer, but it does help that I've played and I have a big name in that area. I've played at levels that they have dreams of playing at. Dreams Cardell says he can't wait to see his players experience just like he did. For me, that's what it's all about. Like, it makes me so happy that, you know, guys that I'm working with is progressing and, and seeing how far they have came in a short amount of time. I'll be very happy that I, I helped someone. I like, guess that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about helping each other, building each other up, being positive and staying together. Take what I learned from uh, my experience and just to give back. Good, 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 good. In Evansville, Jessica Wimsack, Eyewitness News. Thanks, Jessica.